Let's get over to uh, the tech sector. Laid off more than 275,000 workers since last year. That's according to Layoffs FYI, a site that has been tracking job losses in Silicon Valley since the pandemic began. More than 110,000 of which have been since the beginning of 23. For more on this and what lies ahead for the industry, we're joined by Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley. Dan, good to see you. What's coming? That's right, Dave. This has been kind of the quarter of where the layoffs kind of started to take hold. We saw uh, Amazon workers uh, lose their jobs, Microsoft workers in Seattle lose their jobs, uh, Meta, obviously, they had their their layoffs, and we're expecting more uh, to come, perhaps in the coming weeks. And so really what you saw was kind of this, everything starting to settle in, I think, finally in Silicon Valley, where, you know, for years, there was nothing but job growth and opportunity. And now you're seeing that be pulled back because of that massive expansion during the pandemic that, you know, frankly, was just a swing and a miss on the part of tech executives and then impacted real people's real lives. Um, so I think going forward, what we're going to see uh, is less hiring, uh, more discriminant hiring, where, you know, they're going to be looking at particular areas of interest. Uh, I think, you know, part of that, obviously, with the prior conversation is going to be AI pushing forward there. A lot of companies are jumping on it. Look, some of it's hype, some of it's not. Yes, ChatGPT is an impressive t technology. No, it is not the end-all, be-all of AI. No, it does not need to be in every single uh, thing that we talk about when it comes to technology. Uh, so I think that's going to be something where we'll see hiring, though. Uh, there could still, though, be potential layoffs. You know, we looked at uh, that discussion, as I said, Meta potentially having more layoffs going forward. We have to see where these companies start to shake out in the next quarter or so. Uh, you know, the, the uh, comparisons to the prior quarters are going to be a lot easier moving forward. Uh, you know, the stalwart in the, the space, Apple, they continue to do relatively well, while they missed on their uh, uh, first quarter earnings uh, and they saw revenue down year over year for the first time in years, they still managed to pull out uh, a relative win compared to what Wall Street was expecting. And then moving forward, we're starting to hear chatter about people wanting to get more iPhones again. And obviously, they just released that new yellow phone uh, to get the numbers juiced up again. So, you know, you, you got to wonder uh, if we're going to see very many layoffs, but there there's no telling if we're done with this cycle. Certainly is not. All right, Dan Halley, thanks so much.